Hey everyone, layout update time. So we'll start with uh, ground cover. So in my last video I kind of talked about the last little bit of scenery I was doing there and uh, as of right now I've got everything done in terms of like just kind of the initial layer of ballast and static grass. So uh, this section over here I had to ballast which I got uh, almost done. A few areas I need to touch up. But I pretty much static grass the entire rest of the layout. Um, everywhere that was still remaining in terms of where I wanted to have grass which is good. Um, Static grasses I've learned is just kind of messy to work with because uh, you have to vacuum up everything when you're done. And I decided well, I'll just grass everything now. And then if I need to rip anything up, it's actually pretty easy to do. So you can just use like a, a little wire brush like this and you know, remove the area of grass you don't want it. Then you can add you know dirt or, or ballast or whatever else you want in there. So that's kind of the route I went. Um, kind of messed with links and colors and everything too, just kind of getting a feel for it. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with it overall. Um, looks pretty good. I'll probably mess with some colors. Um, I can touch it up with airbrushing as well too in certain areas and stuff there, which would be nice. Um, next is kind of was playing with a little bit of scenery in this little siding right here. So I've got this little spur that comes off the main. Uh, this is actually um, the whole purpose of this little thing here was going to be it was going to be my programming track. So. Uh, when I purchased some switches, this is a Shino Harris switch here. Uh, the person that owned it, is, I bought it used. You can see they've already got the track cut right there with little spacers. Um, normally you have to have obviously the frog uh, separated on these. It is a hot frog. But on this track, um, because it's already separated, I'm like, I don't really need the switch anywhere else. I'll throw it on here and then this will just be a nice little track I can use for programming uh, locomotives and stuff like that. Um, I don't typically program the locomotives on the programming track much anyway, at least not with Digitrack. I do it on the main line, but either way, it was there and it was just kind of a, another piece of scenery I could do to add in the uh, tractor just as a little spur and use that switch. So again, just playing with some grass, you know, making this kind of section of the, of the track look a little bit old. Putting a little buffer here, I just built this out of balsa wood, uh, weathered a little bit. So again, just little touches of scenery and just trying to get some stuff done uh, on the actual layout there. So over here, this facility, I talked about that last time in the last video, or maybe one before, uh, is going to be Fago Beverage. Um, that's a beverage, uh, it's the distribution center here in Detroit um, that basically is, there's an actual relocation to what I'm prototyping this uh, actual model off of, or at least this little industry here. Uh, I'm not going to build it exact, it's just kind of the uh, inspiration for it. But uh, right here on this kind of concrete pad, there'll be basically a brick building. Um, in that location and then it's just kind of all asphalt uh, here for the rest of the parking lot behind it so uh, again this track isn't used too much anymore but it is still servicing this building so you know uh, a little run down there but again I'm just kind of basing uh, this design off the prototype and then all this asphalt I'm not really happy with the way it turned out I'm not really happy with the concrete either but you won't see that because the building will be on top of it but I think I'm going to touch this up some it's a little bit splotchier than I would like um, I don't know, I'll play with it and then that kind of runs off to this little dirt area right here where there'll be some equipment sitting and junk and dumpsters and stuff like that. Um, just to kind of fill that space on the layout, basically. So, uh, besides that, I got the front board here mounted on the layout, finally. I'm putting that off forever. But this way I can finally start mounting my switch machines and, and make my uh, holders for the throttles and stuff like that on here. So, um, just kind of a finishing touch and stuff like that. But switches is something I've been working on quite a bit as well in terms of um, the actual switches here. So I've got a mix of Shino Hara. Um, I think there's like one Pico on this layout and the rest are all the uh, the Atlas custom line uh, switches. So for all those I'm going to be using the Tortoise uh, slow motion machines. I talked about these in an earlier video. I've got a bunch of these uh, from an older layout. And I bought at train shows you know, many, many years ago. So I'm going to reuse them for this layout. Um, and so I've been working on mounting, uh, getting the mounting plates and stuff underneath the, uh, the layout for these. And then the front here, I'm just going to have a little panel for each one. Uh, with the toggle switch and a couple lights to indicate me the direction that switch is actually thrown. So uh, nothing fancy, not to be computer controlled or anything like that, I don't need it, but it'll just be a nice visual indication of all the switches here uh, on the layout. So I thought about just doing hand machines for a lot of the switches uh, on the layout itself, but um, the layout height is, is pretty high here, and to reach over and get some of these back ones is a little far for me to reach. And I don't want to have to knock in the scenery and stuff like that. So this way I'll have the machines with the switches in the front here uh, to adjust all that. So, uh, and that's really it. So structures, uh, not too much has changed there. I've got the, the facility that sits at the back here uh, just about done. But my backdrop, which I also finally bought, I've got to paint that, and I'll get that up hopefully here this week. Uh, so I can finally start putting some of my backdrop buildings along there. And 
that's really it. I need to start working on this facility too. Um, the appliance facility, which is going to be sitting back here on that spur as well. I need to get that going. And then really just continue working on, you know, scenery and little details and stuff like that. But um, I've got some additional cars I purchased, a couple more locomotives too. I'll be doing a video on those. I need to convert one more to DCC. Um, so I'll be talking about that. But that's really it. So again, lots of little things, uh, but making good progress here. I finally ran some trains too um, for the first time in a couple months, which is nice. Um, cleaned up all the track after all the painting and ballasting and stuff like that, and just make sure everything's good, which it is. So uh, that's it. That's where everything's kind of at at the moment. So uh, more videos coming, and thank you for watching.